Step into the time machine of cinema, where the silver screen unfurls its tales like secrets whispered through ages past. Among those hallowed frames, the year 1954 gave birth to a gem, Sabrina. Close your eyes for a moment, and let your mind drift back to the first time you encountered this celluloid wonder. Was it a lazy afternoon on a vintage couch, or perhaps a midnight screening beneath a starlit sky? However it came to you, Sabrina danced her way into your heart, leaving footprints of nostalgia that endure. Do you remember the flicker of the black and white scenes as Sabrina Fairchild, with her enchanting grace, tiptoed between the worlds of the wealthy Larrabee brothers? The effervescent Audrey Hepburn breathed life into the character, while Humphrey Bogart and William Holden lent their charismatic personas to the tale. Moments etched in time, like Sabrina's transformative Parisian sojourn, or the waltz of emotions that tugged at your heartstrings as love blossomed amidst the complexities of class and identity. But let's unravel some lesser-known fragments of this classic's tapestry, those hidden details that add a new hue to the experience. Did you know that the iconic Hubert de Givenchy was the magician behind Audrey Hepburn's wardrobe, contributing to the everlasting elegance of the film? And as the cameras rolled, a symphony of improvisation and scripted genius harmonized to craft a story that resonates across generations. So, as we embark on a journey through the labyrinth of Sabrina's creation, keep those cherished memories close, like stars guiding us through the cinematic cosmos. A world of behind-the-scenes whispers, enchanting anecdotes, and surprising facts awaits, inviting us to become explorers of the silver threads woven into history. And now, as the curtain rises once more, revealing the hidden stories that lend depth to the familiar, join me in unveiling the secrets that illuminate Sabrina, the 1954 masterpiece. Sabrina, a 1954 film, directed by Billy Wilder, embodies the allure of transformation and the power of love in a sophisticated romantic tale. The story revolves around Sabrina Fairchild, a chauffeur's daughter who blossoms from an awkward girl into an elegant woman after a stint in Paris. The film's iconic characters include the spirited Sabrina, the dashing brothers Linus and David Larrabee, played by Humphrey Bogart and William Holden respectively, and the exquisite backdrop of the wealthy Larrabee family's world. Wilder's deft direction infuses the film with a unique blend of wit, charm, and heart, where humor and poignant moments coalesce seamlessly. Sabrina captures the essence of social divide and personal growth, underscored by a timeless love triangle. The film's enduring impact on popular culture can be seen in its influence on subsequent romantic comedies, the fascination with transformation narratives, and the legacy of its elegant fashion. This classic continues to captivate audiences, reminding us that love's magic lies in its ability to transform lives and bridge divides, etching itself as an indelible part of cinematic history. The history, the history, the history. Audrey Hepburn's role in bringing Sabrina to the screen in 1954, the silver screen witnessed the enchanting tale of Sabrina, a romantic comedy that left an indelible mark on cinema history. Behind its creation lie intriguing stories that illuminate the movie's inception and its impact. Notably, Audrey Hepburn, fresh from the success of Paramount's Roman Holiday, played an unforeseen role in the film's genesis. Some sources suggest that Hepburn, drawn to Samuel A. Taylor's play, advocated for Paramount Studios to acquire it, envisioning herself in the lead role. However, other accounts attribute the initiative to Billy Wilder, a creative force under Paramount's wing, who recognized the play's potential as a vehicle for Hepburn's talents. This creative synergy culminated in the birth of Sabrina. This collaboration proved fortuitous in more ways than one. Not only did Sabrina captivate audiences with its narrative charm, but it also sparked a lifelong partnership between Audrey Hepburn and acclaimed costume designer Hubert de Givenchy. Their artistic alliance birthed iconic looks that would forever etch Hepburn's style into the annals of fashion history. Sabrina also united two Academy Award winners, as William Holden and Audrey Hepburn took home the Best Actor and Best Actress awards in the previous year for their performances in Stalag 17 and Roman Holiday, respectively. This convergence of talent lent an undeniable allure to the film, elevating it beyond mere romantic comedy. As the curtains rose on Sabrina, it was more than just a love story that unfolded. It was a testament to the power of collaboration, vision, and the enduring magic of cinema. The film's legacy endures, a testament to the star's alignment that brought it to life. 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 1954 Seconds Sabrina, a glamorous affair marred by casting controversy in the annals of classic Hollywood. Few films hold a mirror to the tangled webs of love, ambition, and transformation like Sabrina. Directed by the legendary Billy Wilder, this romantic comedy drama graced the silver screen with its elegance and wit. Yet, behind its polished facade, the production bore witness to a casting conundrum that ignited debates among critics and cinephiles alike. One of the most fervent debates revolved around the role of Linus Larrabee, originally inhabited by Humphrey Bogart. Many critics contended that Bogart's portrayal felt somewhat misplaced, suggesting that the suave William Holden might have been a more seamless fit for Linus. Moreover, whispers circulated that the chemistry between Bogart and Audrey Hepburn, who portrayed the titular character's Sabrina, suffered due to their significant age gap. 
Bogart, a seasoned 53-year-old, and Hepburn, a youthful 24, presented a romantic dynamic that some found hard to embrace. Unraveling the tapestry of production uncovers a story akin to a Hollywood script itself. A film embarked on its journey with a script as unfinished as a jigsaw puzzle missing its crucial pieces. Echoing the chaos that surrounded Sunset BLVD, Sabrina commenced filming without a solid screenplay. The indefatigable Ernest Lehman, working tirelessly alongside Wilder, saw the script through countless revisions. An incident of note involved an explosive exchange between Lehman and the resolute Humphrey Bogart. With no spare copy of a scene rewrite to furnish Bogart, tension soared. Wilder intervened, putting his foot down until Bogart issued an apology to Lehman. Only then did the cameras resume their dance. Audrey Hepburn's luminous presence belied the awkward age dynamics on screen. While she sparkled at 24, her romantic interests, portrayed by William Holden and Humphrey Bogart, stood at 35 and 53, respectively. This age trifecta lent the film an unconventional charm, with Hepburn's effervescent spirit bridging the gap between her two leading men. Sabrina remains a quintessential piece of Hollywood's golden era, a tale of transformation both on and off the screen. The controversy surrounding Bogart's casting, the daring production without a complete script, and the intriguing age dynamics have woven a narrative as rich as the film itself. This celluloid gem stands as a testament to the magic and challenges that defined a bygone era of cinema. In a world where romance knows no bounds and celluloid dreams come alive, Sabrina shines as a resplendent gem of the silver screen, forever etched in the annals of cinematic history. In 1954, the silver screen witnessed the creation of a classic, Sabrina. Behind its glamour and charm lay a tale of dramatic twists, power struggles, and personal animosities that rivaled the on-screen drama. One intriguing aspect of the film's history revolves around Samuel Taylor, who initially received credit as a co-screenwriter. However, tensions flared when famed director Billy Wilder substantially altered Taylor's original play to fit the cinematic narrative. This led Taylor to quit the project, leaving an indelible mark on the film's development. While Sabrina exuded sophistication, the movie also featured a piece of technology that was far ahead of its time. The elaborate antenna device on the back of the limousine supported an early in auto telephone. In an era long before cell phones became the norm, this innovation was a testament to the film's commitment to luxury and extravagance. The casting of Sabrina was no less dramatic than the plot itself. Humphrey Bogart, a Hollywood legend, stepped in as a last-minute replacement for Cary Grant. The story goes that Grant declined the role because he didn't want to be seen carrying an umbrella on screen. Bogart, however, had his reservations too. He disapproved of Audrey Hepburn, advocating for his wife, Lauren Bacall, in the lead role. On the other hand, William Holden, who starred alongside Bogart, fell head over heels for Hepburn. Financially, the disparity was striking. Bogart received a hefty $300,000 for his role, Holden earned $150,000 while Audrey Hepburn, despite her rising star, received a mere $15,000. The tumultuous behind-the-scenes dynamics became evident in the production process. When asked about working with Hepburn, Bogart quipped, it's okay if you don't mind making a dozen takes. The tension between Bogart and Holden simmered throughout the shoot, adding a layer of complexity to the film's romantic storyline. Sabrina remains a cinematic treasure, not only for its captivating storyline but for the intrigue and drama that unfolded off-screen. In the end, the movie's legacy endures, a testament to the enduring allure of classic Hollywood cinema. 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 In the classic 1954 film Sabrina, a tale of love, transformation, and high society, there's a fascinating behind-the-scenes story involving Audrey Hepburn's iconic wardrobe. While the film's costumes were synonymous with the elegant designs of Hubert de Givenchy, it was actually Edith Head who took home the Oscar for Best Costume Design. This apparent contradiction arises from a complex credit dispute. Head, the film's official costume designer, received credit for the costumes, even though Givenchy's creations for Hepburn were widely celebrated. In a twist, Head openly acknowledged her role in creating the dresses, citing inspiration from Givenchy's designs that Hepburn favored. She claimed, however, that she made significant alterations, and the dresses were not solely Givenchy's creations. It's essential to note that Head never declined the Oscar, leaving an intriguing ambiguity in the Academy's recognition. The situation became even more enigmatic when, after Head's passing, Givenchy himself asserted that Sabrina's iconic black cocktail dress was indeed produced at Paramount under Head's supervision but contended that it was his design. This discrepancy adds a layer of intrigue to the history of this fashion-forward film. Beyond the wardrobe intrigue, Sabrina also has a connection to the world of real estate. The opulent mansion that portrayed the Larrabee family's Glen Cove, New York, residence on screen was none other than Hill Grove, the Beverly Hills estate of George Lewis. However, the mansion met a tragic fate in the 1960s when it was demolished, leaving only memories of its cinematic grandeur. Lastly, Sabrina holds the distinction of being Billy Wilder's final film for Paramount Pictures in 1954, marking the end of an era for the acclaimed director's collaboration with the studio. In the world of Hollywood and hot couture, Sabrina remains a film filled with intriguing stories both on and off screen, making it an enduring classic. In classic. In classic.
Sabrina. As we bid adieu to the cinematic journey that is Sabrina, we invite you to pause and ponder the echoes it may have left within your heart and mind. This timeless classic, crafted with elegance and charm, has a unique ability to touch the soul of each viewer in a distinct way. Perhaps you found yourself captivated by Audrey Hepburn's ethereal grace, Bogart's unexpected charm, or William Holden's charismatic allure. Maybe the storyline resonated with you on a personal level, as it navigates the delicate dance of love, transformation, and self-discovery. Sabrina is more than a film, it's an experience that mirrors the subtle nuances of our own lives. Now, we encourage you to share your cherished memories, your favorite scenes, or the profound insights that Sabrina has sparked within you. Did it remind you of your own journey of self-reinvention or a poignant moment in your life? Was it a source of inspiration or simply an escape into a world of elegance and romance? Your thoughts and reflections add depth to this cinematic masterpiece. Thank you for sharing this cinematic voyage with us and for taking the time to explore the magic of Sabrina. Your unique perspective enriches the tapestry of this classic, making it all the more special. Until next time, keep the spirit of Sabrina alive in your heart and continue to celebrate the beauty of cinema. Warm regards, your name. Your name. Your name.